Hi guys, I'm here to talk to you today about the second wave of immigration that happened in the late 1800s, early 1900s. But first, a uh, quick recap. Remember in the 1840s, we already studied um, a big influx of immigrants that were coming here. Remember in the 1840s, those immigrants were coming here primarily from Ireland to escape the famine and lots of Germans coming here to escape uh, the German revolution. Those are gonna be what's called old immigrants. But as you can tell from this graph in the late 1800s, early 1900s, each of these years, we're talking about hundreds of thousands, if not over a million immigrants coming here. Um, those immigrants are gonna be called these new immigrants. So where are all these immigrants coming from? So again, these are the old immigrants, here's the new immigrants. Where are they all coming from in the late 1800s? You can see from this map, many, many are coming still from Asia, um, quite a few actually from Canada, less from Latin America, but still the bulk of the immigrants in the late 1800s are coming from Europe. Okay, but whereas the old immigrants were coming, as you can see here, from Northern and Western Europe, so um, like Germany, okay, um, Great Britain and Ireland, those are all Northern and Western. Now we start to get some Southern and Eastern Europeans coming here in big numbers. So that means like Italy, Greece, the Balkan Peninsula, Poles, Russians, for instance, that's going to make up a lot of the Southern um, and Eastern Europeans, these new immigrants. And this shows you, again, the kind of split in Europeans. Um, for a long, long time, we had um, Northern and Western Europeans, the English, the Irish, the Germans, making up the bulk of the European immigrants to the U.S. But in the 1890s and thereafter, it actually shifts, as you can see. Um, if this will let me click it. There we go. Um, so there's a shift, right? Now we've got these new immigrants are the Southern and Eastern Europeans. Um, eventually, there's so many Southern and Eastern Europeans coming here that they will make some legislation in the 1920s to try to reverse this course. Um, but for now, there's, again, over, there's like 20 million immigrants that are coming here um, in the late 1800s, early 1900s, which um, was a lot considering the United States population was probably about 75 million people at that point. And we're talking about 650,000, sometimes over a million people coming here a year. Um, what are these new immigrants like? Who are they? Again, they're not, they're from Southern and Eastern Europe, um, but they also have some other um, defining qualities as compared to the old immigrants. Religion for one was different. Um, a lot of these new immigrants were Catholic, which interestingly enough, some of the old immigrants were like the Irish, um, but that's why in part the Irish got discriminated against um, earlier. There's a lot of um, Jews coming over here, a lot of non-Protestants. A lot of the new immigrants are illiterate. Um, a lot of them are poor um, and come from um, less democratic countries. Um, and so there's definitely some differences with these new immigrants compared to um, the Irish, Germans, and English that have been settling here for a long, long time. Um, what was it like for these new immigrants? Um, well, to get to America, um, they had to come by boat. And so here's some pictures of what it was like. They would travel on what was called a steerage class. They'd buy a steerage class ticket, which was the cheapest ticket of the boat, but still very expensive, sometimes cost their life savings. It was very crowded conditions. They would live in steerage class for probably around 10 days would be their boat ride, um, but maybe two weeks. Um, there were so many immigrants coming here that um, that is when Ellis Island gets erected. Ellis Island is a main processing point for those coming from Europe. It's from 1892 in existence until 1954. It's at here when you guys go to New York, which everybody should, um, you'll take a ferry from Manhattan to Ellis Island. And then here's a different vantage point it goes Ellis Island to Liberty Island. And Statue of Liberty, of course, was given to the U.S. Um, as a gift from France during this time as well. And that's what immigrants would see upon coming into the harbor. Um, interestingly enough, you can actually go on Ellis Island's website today. And if your family moved here from Europe during this time, um, there's a lot of records that have been digitized and you can kind of see what that was like. Lots and lots of immigrants coming through Ellis Island. Um, in 1907 alone, there was about a million 300,000 processed during that one year. To put that in perspective of all of those immigrants would have settled in one place, they would have um, made up America's fourth largest city um, almost overnight. So that is um, just a lot of people moving here. A lot of people, especially settling in New York during this time. Um, by 1900, New York actually had as many Irish residents as Dublin, Ireland. New York had more Italians living in its city um, than any city outside Rome. And New York had more Poles living in uh, its city um, than any other city except Warsaw. Um, and the, the New York also had more Jews um, than any other city in the world, as well as sizable amount of Slavs, Lithuanians, Chinese, and Scandinavians. So just lots 
of people coming here, especially from Southern and Eastern Europe, and especially settling um, in places like New York, although it's not the only one. What was processing like once they were in Ellis Island? Um, there would be interpreters around to try to help guide them to where they needed to be, um, but they'd be processed for several hours, sometimes days, but on average is about five hours. So lots of waiting in lines. Um, once they made it into the Great Hall, here you can see them seated, there would be people walking around with chalk and marking people if they looked at all suspicious, especially if they were coughing or something like that, where they would perhaps be then checked out more fully. Um, doctors had um, about six seconds to perform a quick check of about 60 different symptoms. Kids were not exempt from this. The most dreaded part of the exam was the button hook test, like the woman in the upper right is getting um, tested for, in which they'd look, flip your eyelids over really quickly to see if you had a deadly eye disease called trachoma. Then you'd be asked a series of about 29 different questions, um, kind of making sure that your answers didn't um, deviate from what you told the ship originally as part of their manifest. This is oftentimes when immigrants might have their last names changed, kind of um, maybe got lost in translation or become more Americanized, easier to pronounce. Some immigrants um, would be detained for further testing. Um, most of them still would make it through, um, whether it's for health reasons um, or sometimes for other reasons, like making them make sure they weren't deaf or something like that, or mute, and making sure they were um, could pass basic logic puzzles, things like that. But there were 2% of all immigrants that were sent back to their home country. Again, 98% though of immigrants that went to Ellis Island were processed and admitted through. Um, so that explains why there are 12 million people that are gonna be processed at Ellis Island during its existence. So a lot of people come into America at this time. Um, not all of them actually stayed in America, about 25% of those, um, purposely just came here to make money and then would move back to their home countries. But again, just a huge influx of people coming here, especially from Southern and Eastern Europe. And it's no surprise that this coincides with um, chapter 18's aspect of urbanization, which Ms. Schacht is gonna talk to you more about, because um, a lot of these immigrants are gonna now live in the cities in places like tenements. And it coincides with chapter 16, especially because those immigrants are gonna work in the factories of the second industrial revolution. So it all kind of goes together. All right. Thanks, guys. Hope that helps.